you are watching our caliber and I am here with April Gloria and who are you cosplaying today I'm cosplaying Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite the um, the DLC burial at sea okay. tell us about your costume well I think a really important part of this was the actual not like really a part of the costume but the accessories that go with it um, I got a new wig for it I it was my first time using a lace front wig which is a wig where you don't have any bangs so I had to learn how to like cut it off so <laughs> that was pretty good and I had to style it I had to look up tutorials on how to do it kind of like um, vintagey looking so that was a learning experience and I also worked with craft foam to make my gun as well so that was pretty interesting how, how, how did you make a gun exactly uh, well I ordered this online and it was like a plastic non-working model and it came mounted on a a piece of wood or something so I had to pop it off there paint the side of it and then add these gold I added all the gold details with um, craft foam and then coated it with Mod Podge and then painted it with acrylic paint and um, another thing that's really good to do with your weapons is to weather them you what you basically what I did is I just painted black paint off it on it and then just wiped it off really quick with a paper towel or something so it kind of leaves the black in the crevices so the gold isn't like really right kind of looks like and antique and stuff like that so because this gun it's the uh, Colt Navy I believe that's the gun that the hand cannon was based off of in Bioshock Infinite so it's not exact but I figured it works pretty well for for my skill level <laughs> tell us about your dress uh, was it very difficult to construct it um, this was actually my one of my first things that I or just my third costume but um, I was still learning to sew, so I didn't actually sew all of this myself. I pretty much for the shirt, because I've never sewn anything like a shirt before, so I bought two shirts and I cut off the black sleeves on one and the collar and stuff and I sewed it onto this white one and then I attached all these little guys on my wrists and stuff. So I don't know, I'll probably remake it now that I know how to sew more, but this works for now. I mean, I was too excited. I was like, I can't wait. I need to make this costume now. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm working on my craftsmanship. I'm still really new. I haven't even been cosplaying for a year yet. So, and my mom knew how to sew, but I never really had the patience for it. So I never learned. So I'm still like trying to drag myself along sewing. <laughs> so you said you've been cosplaying for a little less than a year? Yeah, I started in May, about May, I think, of 2013. And that was my first attempt at Elizabeth. I wore her to a convention in Michigan, and it was fun, and I wanted to do it all the time. <laughs> it's like, I love this! <laughs> so what, what drew you to, uh, be to become a cosplayer? Um, I don't know, well, I've always liked dressing up. I've always, in college, when we went to Halloween parties, I would have a different costume for every party. <laughs> I mean, they were like Goodwill costumes or whatever, but I had like so much fun putting them together, and I had fun like being characters that I really loved and stuff, so I'm like, man, I would like to do this when it's not Halloween, but I don't know. And then my friend in college kind of said something about cosplaying because he goes to um, Anime Boston. And I'm just like, cosplay? What is that? <laughs> You're dressing it up and it's like anime characters and it's not Halloween. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't, I don't know about that. But then after a while, I'm like, wait, you can dress up when it's not Halloween? What? So I'm like, I need to do this. So I thought about it for like a couple of years, I guess. And then when Bioshock Infinite came out, my friend, I had, I just got my hair cut in like a bob haircut and my friend was like, oh my gosh, you kind of look like this girl from this game and I'm like, what? So I looked it up and I'm like, oh, maybe I can dress up as her for this convention that just happens to be coming up. So I like quickly put it together like because I didn't want to spend a lot of time and money on it just in case I hated it. So I kind of like got pieces from like eBay and like commissioned stuff from other people and put it together and since I, I've since changed a lot of things on it but I had a lot of fun so I want to keep doing it. For anyone else that wanted to see more of your work online, where can they go to view it? Um, you can go, I'm on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash April Gloria Cosplay and then I'm also on um, Instagram as April underscore Gloria and then Twitter is at April Gloria. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time and you're watching their caliber. <laughs>